Hello, my name's David Morris, um, and I'm very pleased to talk to you today. Um, I'm a surgical academic, um, and I've been involved in treating people with peritoneal cancer for um, almost 30 years. ACPMP have helped our research here at St George Hospital in Sydney in Australia uh, by giving us a grant which has allowed us to do things that we would otherwise simply not have been able to do. I'd like to tell you how our work started. I wanted to develop a treatment to dissolve pseudomyxoma, the jelly-like material that's produced by some appendix tumours. And we screened compounds that I thought might um, have an effect, and really we came up with nothing. And it was only when we looked at combinations that we found the interesting uh, discovery that has allowed this drug to uh, be produced. The combination of bromelain, which is a collection of proteolytic enzymes from the pineapple stem, and acetylcysteine, which is a widely used drug, actually break mucin and fluidize it so that we can extract it. The way we are using this treatment at present is, in our trials, is by direct injection of the agent into recurrent areas of mucinous tumor. Typically, this is done as an outpatient. Um, an interventional radiologist puts a small diameter catheter into the area of tumor and then we inject our agent. We then leave the agent in the body for 24 hours or longer and then suck out the fluid. We have found that it profoundly increases the effect of chemotherapy and this will be one of the next groups of patients that we try and work on. To begin with, the focus of our phase one and two um, study is to show that our treatment's safe um, and that we do produce an improvement in symptoms. I'd like again to say how grateful we are for the support that we've received, which has allowed us to do this work.